Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess that's what I would have said back then. But I try to do things professional. The I got the disgusting cut. abomination. I bet you got a deck under there. Oh, you know what, Kinky? You're not far off. Oh, my. Are they single? <laughs> uh, I, I I'm just a firm know. believer that any transgender person who still has a penis, whenever that happens, you know, uh, sirens and whistles and bells should go off because it's a happy day. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be making fun of her, Joseph. I might fall in love. <laughs> Listen, uh, I mean, we <laughs> so yeah, so this this vile creature, and then oh, then of course the Snickers bar tells her ex-boyfriend, and then you know the the Joey D's a racist stuff starts going up. You know that certain promoter that lives in Florida now starts going up on Facebook, and it's just like the same old song and dance, the same old shit they're gonna keep saying. It's like guys, get over it already. If you have a problem with me, I'm not hard to fucking find. The problem is these guys have no fucking balls. You know, they do, they talk shit on the computer where it's, it's not hard to find me, ever. Well, here's my question, Joey. Uh, I've been looking at clips of your show. I don't understand how you're a racist when you've had great talents like, or, 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 or even bigoted in any way when you've become good friends and booked people like Sonny Kiss and Nia Jax. Oh, hold on. Nia Jack. Mike Harvey. Nia Jack. Uh, not Nia Jack. What's her name? Yes. Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose. Same thing. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So I've said, I've said, I, I said stupid shit on this show years ago. I talk. How rude are these guys be? I said yeah, stupid God. shit on the show, but that never makes me a racist. A racist is somebody that holds somebody down because of what, what color they are or whatever. Oh, stay it's away bad. from the racist subject. Just stay away from it. Hold on, Joe. No, 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 no. Why? Hold you on. Up. You, you were man. absolutely on the damn border of a racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the border. <laughs> oh, can, can, can we just talk? Okay. I understand uh, it was a different era back then, and you would do stuff. For shock value, but uh, you weren't really that big of a fan of the Italians. So we can well, start with that because you never really had an Italian heavyweight champion, now did you? Oh. Um, did I? Win? You better think. Somebody wants take to take yeah, what, what he's giving you because he's being or subtle. <laughs> I, I don't know if we had an Italian champion. Hold on a minute. Thanks, you on the. Uh, you're a racist. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> He's going back on hold. I hate you. TXG all the way. <laughs> That's my code cap. Anyway. Number two. Oh, excuse me. Um, I got people messaging me. And, but anyway, as far as that... When this all came out, all, all, all my champions were not white, so they look like some fucking people. And to keep rehashing the same thing over and over again, they look whatever. If they have such an issue with me, then come find me. That's all. Very simple. Ah, uh, you have been a little <laughs> bit of an ageist over the years, though, Joseph. A what? Did you say all your champions? At that time, when they came, when this came out, they were. Oh, well, there was Sonny Cash. There was. Well, Sonny. Okay, so Sonny won it that night. Sonny won it that night. Oh, Nyla, that was even though she was doing, in Japan. Uh, oh, no, that she was, was still doing. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, uh, <laughs> precautionary measures, so you wouldn't be looked at as one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, Joey, you need a new Ian. Is Sam Gomez available yet? They moved. He moved out west. Oh, no, he changed his name. Where did he move to? Or as I'm going to now call it, the Manly Man Show. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Ian. 
you know, you know macho what I, man you know what is macho said? man. The macho man showed his machismo. He had to be the man. He had to come out. He was the male diva of the WWF at the time. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy. I'm a Joey, did you ever why, why, do I, why do I need to find new Ian? He's, he's, still, he's still alive. Joey, did you it's ever apologize to his poor parents? What? what? Kinky, it's all, it's all a work. <laughs> why do you say that, Mike? He, he's alive. Mike from Sunset, shut up. No, you go on. Why you, do you, you, go on that guy's, you go on that guy's messenger, and the green light is always lit. Are you serious? Yes. Yes. You know why he's serious? Because Mike from Sunset is a stalker. That's Yo, how he knows. I'm just, he's I'm just following dead Ian. Back. Ian's been dead I, seven I years, bro. Back. And you talking about his messenger light is green? Mike from Do Sunset me. needs friends. Well, no, call call him. He needs he needs help. No, like my <laughs> this guy on here. You... I always call people back. I'm not a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> people call me. I call back. I'm a stalker. Yeah. Hey, you're yeah. a fucking stalker, bro. You're a sick person. <laughs> Mike, do you do you miss legends? Yeah. Oh, I miss it terribly. <laughs> Absolutely miss those days. Oh, what, you know what I always find weird is the fact of uh, what happened to poor Big Ange after uh, we talked to her that one night and interviewed her. <laughs> oh, my she God. She said for me. Sorry, we did, we did have Big Ange on Warriors Radio. Yeah, drunk as can be. Surprise. I'm Big Ange. <laughs> I don't know, Joey. What do you think of fun these days? Is, is it true that Peter Chris is your next door neighbor? No, he lives in Wall. <laughs> he lives in Wall. He's not my neighbor, and I don't know has, where. Has he Wall asked he you to? Has he ever uh, came over with <laughs> his shirt exposed and asked you to check him for breast cancer? <laughs> Male breast cancer? No, he never has. Okay, I was just <laughs> making sure we were on the same page there. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Breast cancer. I just sometimes I like touching man's boobies to make sure that they don't have breast cancer. <laughs> it affects many men in this country. Guys, can't be making a mockery out of them. <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, what does he have better to do? It's not like he's going on tour with his old buddies. I'm, I'm sure he'll be involved in the last show at the Garden. I would think. It's not nope. the last show, Joe. They're doing a reality show after this, and they're going to cast a new fucking Gene and a new uh, Paul. Oh, come on. That or Gene's leaving and Paul same because Paul runs that band. Oh, I think dead. they both do. Uh, I'm telling you firsthand, Paul is the one who <laughs> runs that band. Gene is just... It's not what everybody thinks. Oh, I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure you know. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you firsthand uh, information. <laughs> what I'm told by people who've managed uh, other talent from that same band. Ian is. Are you talking about Doc McGee? Uh, no, because Doc still manages Kiss. Uh, this person was the manager is one was was the uh, person who signed Ace Freely for his solo projects. Oh, it's exciting! You know, I seen him yeah, when yeah. I first. I was at Eddie Trunk's birthday party, and Ace walked right by me. That guy is a giant. Ace yeah. Freely grew up in my neighborhood. I was about to tell you who's that. Ace Freely. Ace Freely grew up. He grew up on Marshall Parkway in the Bronx, and his parents would always be on Bainbridge Avenue with kiss hats. And we would, all, as kids, we would always be like, "Why are you wearing kiss hats?" And uh, they're like, "Oh, do you know who Ace Freely is?" And we were like, "Yeah." And they were like, "Oh, that's that's our son." And we were like, "What?" We were all going crazy. We loved it. That guy's spaced. I love him. He's wonderful. But uh. Yeah. Joey, back to you. 
because, I, oh. you know, as the host, nobody ever asks you the hard-hitting questions. That's why you got <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, go No, it's just, you know, we just want to know, like, what brought forth this change in your personality from the angry young man you used to be to who what? you are now? I'm not, I, don't, I don't want to be angry every single minute of the day. If somebody takes me off, they'll get oh, angry. Oh, well, shit. You were angry every single minute That's of the day. That's fucking bullshit we'll because he's fucking angry at every time I see him. He's angry. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's need to calm down a lot. And I don't like this calm, <laughs> Joseph. We need to bring back the old angry day, Joseph. We need to you, bring you back the Joey that, B that would call people abominations. He was oh, happy. Man, you you, know, you, you got to go to the shows. He does it at all the shows. He curses out everybody. He's just angry. But, yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's at wrestling shows. And as a booker and a promoter, you have to curse everybody else out to get them to do what they have to do. Well, I'd rather deal with him on those days on the radio show. I want, like, easy, good time. Oh, I don't like the, I don't like the <laughs> easy listening Joey B. If I had to compare it to anything... This Joey B that I'm listening to right now, uh, it's like listening to the song Sailing by Christopher Cross. Right. The last time you talked to Joey B was probably like four years ago, and the last time I talked to Joey B was probably at like 9 o'clock, so I'm cool with the easygoing Joey B, because if I had that asshole one, I wouldn't talk to him. I think this is all the fun. He was very happy. I think this is all the front right now. I'm telling you all right now. I think jerk Joey B still lives. And we just gotta find him. The we gotta, we gotta. Well, I don't know. What's the name of uh, that jerk you always do business with? Richie DeGreg. Yeah, Richie DeGreg. You want what yeah, he's a What has he done recently? Because <laughs> that's the only recently? thing where I see old. School, he does something every That's the only day. time I see old school Joey B come out is whenever you're at a convention and all of a sudden you find a new reason to curse out. Or cryptically uh, berate Richie the Greg. And oh, the I, I don't cryptically cryptic. write anything. I rip into that guy. Irish people here have balloon tits. Balloon tits? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Joey, why don't you tell people why Richie the Greg pisses you off so much? <laughs> oh, God. They can just read my wall. Why don't we call him and ask him? Uh, no, yes. Yes, call yes. him, you jerk. Hold on, let me. <laughs> I, 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 so now I, I gotta, I gotta just figure out how to do this again. Again, it's been it's been a while, guys. So two. Mm-hmm. He just was Five. about to say his phone number out loud. Joey, that's <laughs> called that. <laughs> that I was ringing. You can ask him. Casey, you can talk to him. You don't recognize this number. Richie. <laughs> Rainy. Hey, guys. It's Rich. Rich. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name, <laughs> your number, and a brief message, I will. I hung up. I was going to leave him a voicemail. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We'll call, you we'll just call got him rid back. Hold on. The old traditional All right. I didn't know. Hold on. 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 Hey guys, it's Rich. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name, your number, and a brief message, I will return your call as soon as I can. Thank you, and have a good day. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Ah, uh, hello, Rich. How are you doing? Uh, this is Pinky Robert from Queens. Uh, I understand you like booking talent for conventions and signings. Uh... <laughs> I was wondering if you what your thoughts are about bringing a barbershop quartet trio in to maybe sing to the fans as they're meeting these uh, great legends. Uh, I think it's a great idea, and I think you should do it, Richie. So anyway, uh, please call me back when you see this. I know it's a cell phone, so I know you have my number now, you jerk. And uh, let's figure this out and make some money together. And also, uh, we want to see if you can answer some questions about uh, Joseph's calisthenic routines. Okay, oh. thank you. You, you, you two guys, you Bruiser and, and BA, you guys are like two wounded dogs laughing on this on this voicemail. I'm sure. <laughs> First of all, 
You don't think Richie's listening? He didn't answer his phone because he's sleeping. He no, because he's going to get up and exactly work in the morning. He's going to get up and work in the morning. Oh, okay. So let me be professional. As we on this fucking show, talking the dumbest shit in the world. So let me be professional and not like.